Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Shri Ayer. Mondays are Rajagopalan time and Tuesdays are Bosky time as we lace our conversation with humor that sets the mood for you for the rest of the week. At the 11th hour of the day, let's welcome Bosky. Bosky, Namaskar and welcome to P Guru's channel. Namaskar, Mr. Ayer, Ayer and Ayer and Ayest. Namaskar. I'm so happy to get the feedback from so many people. We're all really loving the humor and uh, 11 a.m. because you mentioned 11 a.m. Last week, somebody said that Mr. Modi is visiting Chennai at around 10.30 in the morning. I said, here in Chennai, it is 1 p.m. before 11 a.m. What is that? Okay, okay. 1 Prime p.m. Minister. is Prime Minister. Got it. I'm a little yeah, slow today. Prime... Oh, my. <laughs> so, that one Prime Minister is coming before 11 a.m. So, I said, 1 p.m. before 11 a.m. at Chennai. <laughs> I'm getting you into the mood now. Yes, indeed. So, Boski, you have been in so many different programs analyzing cricket as well as being a commentator. Um, you know, one of the things that people like about Boski is he'll find humor in just about everything. So, I'm going to ask you a question. You know, this is like a test match. Three overs, no run scored. And they are in load to load, you know, what do you call Doku Podrada, something like that, they call it. You know, just defending and the bowler is just bowling away. How do you induce humor in this? Yeah, you have to see the test and the word, the, the word called test match got so many meanings, implications. For example, when uh, that Mohammed asked for some cricketer in Pakistan was accused of drugs and dopes and all that. I said he is the original positive test player. We are talking about oh, yeah. test matches and what has he was tested positive for drugs. So, he's a positive <laughs> test player. So, that's the way. That's the way I bring in a lot of humor into the, into the game because even recently there's a raging controversy that has been uh, erupting here saying that uh, Hardik Pandya shouldn't have gesticulated to the senior captain to ask him to go and stand near the fence. He shouldn't be doing all that. So my my thing is, when a composer, like a great composer like Rahman ropes in MS Vishwanath and Melissa Manar to sing a song, MSV himself has said, he is the boss. I will listen to whatever he says. So, we have to take it in those lines. But going to a cobbler to mend your slipper, you can't say, I'm a millionaire. I'm standing. How can you sit and do it? So, you can't see respect and all that there. So, I bring in humor like this, giving some funny examples like this. So, there is humor everywhere. For example, you know this DRS system. In one particular, from one particular ball of uh, Hardik Pandey or somebody, the decision was clear even to any common man that it was plum LBW, that is leg before the wicket on the middle stump. But the umpire ruled it out. He said not out. To which I said, even if Dhritarashtra was the umpire, he would have ruled him out. Because it was so clear. <laughs> and in one of my in one of my commentary states, one guy was batting and some there was some problem with the bat. Finally, after he finished the stroke, he found only the handle in his hand. The bat had gone near the leg umpire. It, it flew near the leg umpire. So I said, he very badly wanted a break. And he got it. <laughs> that was a breakthrough there. <laughs> so that's all. Here and there. Boski, this DRS sometimes will, you know, give you some very unintended consequences. I don't know if you remember, I think it was 2006. India was playing West Indies in West Indies. And Dhoni was given wrongly out on DRS for caught behind because he, the same bowler, same batsman, same wicket keeper, in a previous test, he was out caught. Now, when yeah. they did the DRS check, you know, they they basically didn't check this year's, this match's ball, but they went back to the previous te uh, test match and then they said, oh yeah, he's out. How can you make such a big screw up on DRS? Correct, correct, correct. You're right. That funnily, I used to say sarcastically, if you say UDRS, it means normally it should be an umpire decision review system. But here, when they make a mistake, it becomes umpire dando review solidu. That is my, <laughs> my words of UDRS. So, UDRS is something very simple. Dhoni is not for it, but the very similar situation is here everywhere when we have exchanged freedom for discipline, we are not bothered. The guy who comes with no entry, He'll curse you for coming in entry. So that's the scenario here. So you, the DRS in common parlance is when you get caught and when a traffic sergeant nabs you, probably or without helmet or license, when he nabs you and says pay the fine, 
it just takes one call phone call for you to some mla or minister so that is the drs you are asking the minister and minister will come and tell the on on phone he'll tell the DRS, sergeant no no leave him he is mine which means you are not out otherwise you are out so in common parlance it's the same as drs so drs was supposed to improve the accuracy of umpiring isn't it exactly it it is very difficult because the drs doesn't know it, it there is something called spike which appears to clearly indicate that there was an edge from the bat but that spike will appear whether it is pad or bat so when a ball goes between the bat and pad and if it brushes both simultaneously you won't know which it struck first the bat or the pad that's the problem very true very true but such instances are not that often isn't it like the what you said yeah that's right that's right rarely but it might change the course of the match it might tilt the scales oh. very true very true um let's take a look at something else that has uh, been you know doing the rounds lately you know there are brands actors become brands because you know their face sells a product their face their face draws in crowds i'm talking about celebrities especially like amitabh bachchan do you think they should be exposing themselves the way they are because now you are seeing like three four different products all showcasing from the same guy one starts wondering you know what does he does he have time to do anything else exactly when i look at hema malni she is coming in sudbani in the same sari for fan breeze good breeze and fantastic ventilation she is coming in the same sari i don't know how is it i don't know whether it is for water or for air so that is one fun amitabh bachchan is coming in every ad arkampul kamarkat chewing gum arsi mitai balli mitai for everything he is modeling and even if i switch off my tv he is coming waking me up from my sleep and saying i have done a new ad please watch it if i sell the tv i am able to see him on near the window so oh, there there is an obsession for ads a amir khan akshay kumar amitabh bachchan all the yes they are obsessed with ads you know um, i i was see one of the reasons why they say this is because if you are not in sight then you go out of mind out of sight out of mind right that's right so maybe they are trying to stay in your uh, mind but there is always something like this exposure and sometimes you end up have you seen any celebrity doing opposites like for example don't drink and drive and also you know uh, promoting a whiskey scotch brand or something like that yeah okay they can't name them but the thing is i i can uh, address i can address and i can suggest i can endorse a product of of uh, probably a, i can say don't smoke don't drink because i don't do but i can't advocate for a good hashtag so that's the difference i should know i should know my limits we can always wear a big uh, bosky <laughs> yeah it, it will make a big difference <laughs> <laughs> no no you can say look look I, I listened to p gurus and look my hair has started growing again <laughs> yeah i i in fact i used to narrate one i mean address one advertisement issue which i faced when i was invited to model in text form for magazine for a magazine and dailies they wanted me to model for a product and i asked the guy what which is a product he said hair oil so i started laughing he was also laughing then he telling me no no we are coming to seriousness it's not a job we are publishing the ad in three three phases the first phase will carry your picture totally bold the second picture will be after you you start using the oil you find small strands of hair growing up so that is the second stage and third stage you look like a yogi or a big sanyasi or like a god man it sounded very beautiful so i said okay fine as long as i become popular through an ad it's fine i modeled but it went for a toss it was a huge flop only because they interchanged the third and the first picture they posted the top <laughs> they posted the god man picture first and then last which means if you use the hair oil as a sadhu as a god man you will become bosky at one particular stage so what it convey you know, bosky ba- bosky you know they should have put it in saudi arabia it would have been a big hit cuz they right from right to left <laughs> exactly you know um you you recently did a talk on ted uh, ted talks yeah. thing and it was about your life experiences uh, you know ted is a special place because not everybody gets a chance to you know go and talk about uh, you know one's uh, struggles in life challenges whatever you want to say how was that experience i mean was there like a full audience or was it just online how, talk us through this ted experience 
Iyer, this was the by God's grace, it was the second uh, opportunity because first opportunity to me was provided by my late Chitappa uh, Professor Balavi Balachandar, who was heading Northwestern University, who also ran, was running this Great Lakes Institute here in Mahabalipuram. So when he invited me, that was a different experience. I was a bit serious in that. But here at KCG College of Technology, they had invited me to bring more out, bring more humor out because most of the speakers there were all serious because I was the last. And I was also entitled for about 18 minutes. Normally, everyone was provided only maximum stipulated time was just 10 minutes. They provided me 18 minutes. So I thought I'll bring out each value we have to follow, each discipline that we need to adhere to. And it should be backed by funny anecdotes. So that way I made it this interesting because they could laugh and also relate to discipline and indiscipline. So I made it that way. Quite a good success because I found the previous speakers all waiting to hear what I was about to address. So I, that was nice. Oh, that's that's a big uh, that's a big uh, uh, shabash to you because that means that everybody valued what you are going to say. That's wonderful. I'm going to give you a scenario, Bas Boski, because I want you to find humor in life. You know, your your alarm goes off, but you wake up late. You miss it. You wake up late. Then you realize that the cycle that you are going to use to go to work. It has got a puncture. Third thing is, there is no water coming on the water pump. Fourth thing is, milk that was left outside, the cat has come and eaten and, and basically there is no milk, no coffee. How do you see humor in such a situation? Any, anyway, for, for, supposing cat comes and drinks the milk and you are waiting for the next packet of milk. I call it all waiting facility. Normally you say <laughs> call waiting facility. So you are waiting for <laughs> Everywhere you have to find humor. I see when I when I was doing a show, in between during the break, I went to the restroom. And there's one guy who's standing is already in the process of attending to nature's call. He tells me, Can I have a selfie? How can you have a selfie? How many things can you hold? So I told him, How can we have a selfie here? Let us go outside and have. Then he's asking me, How does it come? Does it come naturally to you? I told him, here for everybody, it comes naturally. <laughs> it's a nature's call. <laughs> Yeah, everywhere it is like that. And then one day in my office, there was an elderly man who was distributing small that uh, mixture or Kara 7 that you say. He used to prepare those packets and he was distributing it. There was one officer who wasn't uh, my, my favorite, definitely. So the moment he saw me buying that packet, which was very cheap in the 90s for about 5 bucks, 5 rupees, I bought that. Probably they were all making fun because the quality was not good. So the officer came to me and said, did you buy this for 5 rupees? I said, I bought it for 5 rupees. Then he said, being trying to be too sarcastic, he said, do one thing and just present this to someone who, do, who you don't like. I said, please take you it. it him? <laughs> yeah, please take it. So it comes only because of friends and atmosphere is like that. We keep sitting on the platform. We keep making fun of everything that is happening around us. Sometimes I, I ask for an auto service. I stop the auto driver and say, I have to go to Mount Road. How much should I pay? He'll tell me 200 bucks. I'll tell him I don't need to purchase the auto. I just want to know the price where I can get down. I'm not asking you for the price of the auto. I just want to know how much you charge for the service. So it's you know, like that. Yeah. Baski, you are Baski, you're lucky that he's willing to take you to Mount Road. Usually it is like my home is in uh, Velacheri. If you want to go there, I'll take you there for the same 200 exactly. bucks. <laughs> but, but, but I have fantastic guys in the auto industry because I have about seven to eight auto rickshaw drivers numbers. They also come to my rescue. They help me a lot and all that, but I make maximum fun of them. You won't believe once in Haddos Road. Haddos Road is the road that houses the Shastri Bhavan, famous Shastri Bhavan for passport and all that here in Chennai. You find non-stop flow of traffic there. At one point, it looks like a Republic Day parade every day. So I wanted to cross over from the Shastri Bhavan platform to the opposite platform. I didn't have a clue. 15 minutes I've been waiting like a president and watching the parade. Because the, the, the vehicles are screeching through. I just, it struck me suddenly when I noticed an auto just meandering slowly towards me. I asked him, can you come? He asked me where. I told him I need to go to the opposite platform. He said, give me five <laughs> bucks. He said, give me five bucks. I don't mind even giving 50 bucks. Can you take me there? He did this swing. That's all. One curve, another curve. I landed on the opposite platform. So that's the fun year around auto. <laughs> point to point, point Baski, very platform to platform. Platform to platform. Ba Baski, you, you know, uh, many things that happen in life, we tend to not look at the humor in them. 
and and there, there is a certain sense that comes in all of us have a sense of humor and and yeah. that comes to the you know comes to our help especially when things are down and uh, you know you you've told us about your life experiences in a previous episode uh, it it was really gut wrenching the more i think about it i said wow this man has gone through hell and come back but he has maintained that positivity not many people can do that many of us kind of you know get bogged down by our life problems um, i'm going to give you again another hypothetical scenario you know you, you 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 whichever thing like for example you start a business whatever thing you try to do doesn't work but you think it should work like the way you said about the hair oil thing right instead of maybe they should advertise it in saudi arabia it was a big hit but how do you it's, make people to say take take a step back uh, i'm just going to let you finish that i mean somebody is getting a lot of negativity how would you help him and the only thing is to avoid negativity to find people who are with a lot of humor you can't find people obviously singing is a way out to get out of depression but you can't find the best you can't go in search of sp bala subramaniam and janakis so that's a problem but making fun anybody can an auto driver has got so much of humor an electrician is embedded with so much of humor okay so many people around you are blessed with humor so pick people who take life lightly or able to find a joke and humor from every incident that is happening around them okay in tamil in madras bhasha i can tell you there was, there was a heated argument between two guys in madras bhasha i don't necessarily narrate this in madras bhasha see the amount of uh, meaning that it carries even though they are trying to be sarcastic there's a heated argument and the one guy starts off saying the bar over ani enanda vechinena unnu naal aal oru ole naal aal oru ole means four people will carry you to the crematorium so that's what he is indicating he is saying unnu naal aal oru ole which means i'll kill you you know what that response is from the other guy engitta tenjuga nalla o saavu ki dance aadatha na saavu maten before dancing before dancing in front of your body i will not close my eyes so this is the fun it's got so much of philosophy and seriousness behind but they're able to bring that all out in sarcasm um let's take a look at music now this is the last question for today um i know yep. i know we want to try and keep this thing small uh, and, and crisp music today Yeah, I stop listening to music, whether it is uh, Hindi or in Tamil. To me, you know, Ilai Raja, a little bit of Rahman, maybe a little bit of Harish Jairaj. After that, somehow, uh, maybe call me a Karmajian. It doesn't matter to me. The music doesn't seem to make sense anymore. Doesn't make because doesn't connect with me. Where is it headed? You've been closely con- connected with the music industry. If a music composer comes and asks you, uh, I mean that. kolaveri what is there what is the musicality in that it became a huge hit you know the kolaveri 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 i know i know him i know him as well i know also a good family friend i know him as well yeah yeah i'll explain it to you today because if you give absolute class stuff classic stuff with a it's globe of bubbly with knowledge and absolute nuances of music and all that people say we are not patient enough to listen to all that people ask me even today ilai raja can give you six of his fantastic the genius composings compositions for a film the trend is not here now people don't want this album material at all now they are happy with one good song once in six months so you can't you can't get to that particular taste if you are a fan of ilai raja so what would be ilai raja's philosophy is i am still hitting success out of the park but you're all watching some other match that is what ilai raja will be saying if you ask him i am giving you success but if you are interested in some other match i can't help it but i will do what i can so even today he wakes up at 7 o'clock composes five to six songs i love his songs purely for the shelf life for all the creativity involved one bgm you can pick one pallavi one charanam you can pick you can keep humming in light music or in reality shows most sought after songs are ms vishwanathan kv mahadevan ilai raja um, then ar rahman harish jairaj until then there are great geniuses no i don't deny but when it comes to fm stations airing songs or reality shows challenging upcoming singers with songs predominantly it is songs of the sfs so we might have seen that which means they carry a better shelf life if not why would you resort to remixes if you have your own knowledge you shouldn't be depending on that one magal vandal it's all coming to remix now isn't it 
so yes, i yes. enjoyed it yeah especially in reality show i watched this one because there are 15 judges sitting now i know why most of the supreme court cases and high court cases are pending because about 15 judges are sitting in each reality show all the 15 are facing the person time. and, <laughs> and the irony is if the guy who is just about to shape up shape up his career who comes and sings if he doesn't sing well or she doesn't sing well he is crying and sobbing but if he sings exceptionally well all the judges are crying so this is the scenario i get so 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 what are you saying that somebody has to cry after every song somebody has to cry if you want to escape from tv serials because there is so much so much negativity there coming to reality show also you will have to be ready to cry everywhere you have to cry you can't keep laughing every time all the time no way Basically, a little serious question. Follow up on the movie thing. The movie, its quality itself has come down drastically. Once in a while, you get a good movie, but is it because of that that the song there was a prominence to song? Because I mean, I'll tell you a formulaic film, right? Two duets, one solo, one pathos, and and one intro song, Vuruvan, Vuruvan, Mudalar, something like that. That used to be the template. Has the template changed recently? Oh yeah, maybe trend trend is changing because if you're going to if you're going to be creating a movie on marriage, joint family, marriage values, and it's gone for a toss. It's almost going for a toss. If you take if you shoot a movie, if you create a movie on probably living together, that might click because the, the scenario is changing. TV serials are being a hit now only because our uh, elder sisters, our chitapas, uncles, grandfathers are all in tune with this. Now the next generation is catching up. I don't know how. serials will excite them so that's the problem now so the trend is changing so definitely thinking scenario has to change and it is very difficult now it's so challenging because you get to see anything on the mobile phone previously when there was no digital the, the, the pre, pre pre digital era and i used to go and watch a movie and review it it used to come in anand vigadan i was part of the vigadan memorsana kulu it used to come on mondays which means people used to eagerly wait to know what is the sensation or what is wrong with this movie for about 2 to 3 days here the 5 minutes after the first show as a guy who is typing the message macha moke i am sorry they have lifted this from mission impossible you're gone that's the problem no so they have to be more extra careful to cater to everybody's taste and it is very difficult it is so diversified now so it's a big challenge to do movies but if the movie carries a good soul for example don't have to resort to grandier mammoth production and all that take the case of a movie called kaka mutai an ordinary theme ordinary theme two slum dwellers two kids want to taste pizza as their ultimate desire that's the theme became a super duper hit because it the soul that it carried in the film that's it so you have to identify that that which has got the best content which will strike a chord i'll definitely watch it and i was also i also like on similar lines called pasanga i think it came a few oh, years yeah. ago very yeah, yeah. simple story yet very very uh, touching you know so yeah. baski we have- because because you mentioned that name of that film there was a sequel pasanga 2 and you you know the review line that i gave for that when i was doing a uh, uh, youtube reviews for films after the first day first show it was straight it was a straight take from lift from thare zameen par so in the final tagline i said this movie instead of pasanga 2 it could be called Tare to zameen to par to. <laughs> so, um, take away for the week. You have been now very busy with IPL, and some days there are two shows a day. How yeah. do you stay find time to remember all this? Is it the double header, right? When do you record it? Yeah. After the double header only, isn't it? So, how do you remember what happened four hours ago? People don't remember what happened four <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> Quite valid question, but I don't know. I am very forgetful. I forget my mobile phone. I forget my bike. I mo- most of the time I walk into the wrong house. I walk into the wrong office and start working. And the best joke I get a salary for that as well. So they are more forgetful. All this happens. But when it comes to interviewing a personality, for example, interviewing Ayer or interviewing SPB or Rajini Kant or Dhoni or Ilai Raja, I don't know where this memory penetrates inside because I am able to recall everything that has happened over the years. That is some God gift only I can tell you. I don't uh, do any homework. Nothing. it comes to me the moment i see some personality that's all i can't explain this logically but for some wise cracks i just note it down on paper and pen i note it down if i am to bring out some wise cracks on cricket then i do it for example suppose i i batsman called pat comments who's all at sea playing a leg spinner 
is fiddling around, not unable to read the legs and googly. So I have a line for him saying that today's in today's scenario, Google search is very, very popular. But here, here I, is a man, Pat Cummins, who is known for googly search. He's searching for the googly. So those one liners, I wrote down. Yeah, that's all. Wonderful, Otherwise, wonderful. It's purely wonderful. Gone. Now, you, you mentioned about this one thing where Hardik Pandya got panned for uh, directing uh, Rohit Sharma to here, there. Remember, when Dhoni became the test match skipper, he had under him Saurav Ganguly, if I remember correctly, Anil Kumble, uh, Rahul Dravid, Sachin Tendulkar, right? Four captains. Yes. How did he manage? It's very tough. Very tough. I predicted this, like the way I predicted that Rutraj Gaikwad is going to take over the reins for CSK two years back. That clicked. And in my initial videos here this last month, I said it's going to be a hell of a time for a captain to be captaining four ex-captains, four former captains. Like, for example, Azharuddin, when Azharuddin was leading, he had Vinkshakar, Gavaskar, Kapil, they were all ex-captains under the team. That will definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pika. So, you will have to be ready for ego issues. So, that is where your interpersonal skills, how you are able to adjust with an executive, with a peon, with your officer, with the outside world. That, that comes into the fore there. So you have to be really flexible. Hardik is quite flexible, but it will, it's a question of time. Because you can't say, how can Hardik direct a senior captain like this, asking him to go to long on, go, go and stand inside the stand and all that. Because I'll give you the best example. When MS Vishwanathan was introduced, Melissa Manner was uh, someone was requested by A.R. Rahman to sing a song for Sangamam. You know what he said? Uh, Rahman Thambi, now don't tell us under. Whatever you feel like telling you, please instruct me. I will listen. Such a great man. Okay. He goes and tells this because he says, you are my boss. Whatever you say, I will listen. So if you get into a team, there's another captain and you get into the team, you either get into the team with that mindset that I will listen to my leader or my coach or my director or else I won't be in the scenario. We have to decide. After coming in, of course, Rohit is not making an issue of it. But I'm telling you, this is the case. You might be a multi-millionaire. You're going to mend your slippers. Your slippers are gone. You're going to mend your slippers. But the cobbler will be doing stitching your slippers only sitting down. You can't say, I'm a millionaire. I'm standing. How can the cobbler sit down and do it? <laughs> That's his profession. So, we have to be sportive in all this. Tomorrow, the Prime Minister also stands in a queue to cast his vote. Whereas, the polling official, he'll be sitting. He'll say, just your finger, please. Then he'll put the ink on his finger. So, that's his duty. He'll be sitting and doing. Doesn't mean disrespect. People are assigned with different roles. So we have to be supportive. You know, speaking of standing in the line to put uh, your vote, cast your vote, uh, reminds me of what happened in 2014. It was like a harbinger of things to come. Uh, this was, I think, one of the affluent uh, polling booths in Hyderabad. I think a place called Banjara Hills. I don't know how much you know the layout of Hyderabad. Banjara yes, yes. Hills is where... Because my, because my classmate, Venkatesh, Telugu hero, he was staying there. He's got a house there. Banjara Hills, yeah. Oh, I see. So, so... One of Venkatesh's colleagues, Chiranjeevi, who is yeah. also a, a politician, okay. there's a line. And, and this guy wants to put his uh, vote and he tries to jump the line. Okay. One guy in the line stopped him and said, don't you see the line? Go back and stand at the end of the line. Okay. And, and he did. He did. Yeah. So, I think so he was online. <laughs> 2014, he was probably online. Could be. Yeah. <laughs> he fell in line after that. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> well, with, with that, we conclude today's show. Bosky will be back next week. Please let us know what you think. And we're going to be talking about a lot of things. I mean, this is more like a Seinfeld show, you know. The show about nothing. It's also a show about everything. But at the end of the day, there is always humor underlying it all the time. Thank you, Bosky. We'll be seeing you again next Tuesday at 11 o'clock at the 11th hour of the day. Namaskar. Thank you so much and great to know from great to know the feedback from all your people and all our people also. And we'll go higher and higher and we'll be Siri higher all the time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Namaskar. <laughs>